Welcome to week 10 and in week 10 we are starting to talk about what we do with a schedule once we start executing a project. So in this demo I'm going to show you how to baseline your project which is basically taking a picture of your project so we can compare our performance to what we plan to do, how to put in milestones and how to enter status and show it in our, our tracking Gantt chart view. So what I want you to do is open up uh, the week 10 example 12.1 which is on Fanshawe Online. So we're going to open this up and you're going to download it which will open up this uh, project in MS Project. So here we go. Here's our project and we looked at this example last week. So here is a project that we are happy with. We're happy with the plan. We think everything has been scheduled and resources are loaded and everything's looking good. So we want to baseline this project. So again, baselining is taking a snapshot of our project, um, of our schedule, of what's planned so that we compare our actuals to our plan. So what you want to do is you want to go to project and you want to click on set baseline set baseline and we want to do it for the entire project and we click OK. So now it's baselined and again we can compare um, how we're executing our project to this plan. So now what we want to do, one of the things you're required to do uh, this week is put in milestones. So um, milestones are kind of uh, key review points or gates that you want in your project. So you, for your deck project, you might have a milestone for every major uh, phase being completed. So maybe once the design phase is complete, you can put in a milestone. Once the foundation is complete, you can put in a milestone. Once the decking is complete, you can put in a milestone. And then when it's fully complete, a final milestone. So for this project, if you look on slide 8 of the slide, week 10 slides, you'll see two uh, milestones that I'm recommending you put into this project. So what I'm saying is you should put in a milestone um, after our document award and we'll call this uh, bid review. So what you can do is click in here um, on calculate costs, right click and we can uh, insert, actually what I want to do is insert a milestone. So we should be in the task view. So let's uh, put in a milestone. Oops. So again, on calculate costs and let's put in a milestone. So there it is. It's inserted a milestone and again we want to call this bid review. And what's very important is you need to have this linked to activities. So our predecessor to the, this milestone is our document award. So let's select document award. So that's really important. So once the award has, uh, the document award is completed, then this milestone is complete. So let's put OK. So there we go. There's our milestone. And again, please remember to put in predecessors for your milestones, otherwise they'll just float on the left. So that's one milestone. And the other milestone I'm uh, recommending you put in is bid award. So after the winning bid has been selected, that's what we want. So click on number seven, click on milestone, and there is our new milestone. And we want to call this bid award. Okay. And again, as you can see, it's just floating here, but that milestone will be complete once the selecting uh, bid has been assigned. So we need to put in a predecessor and select winning bid. Okay. Okay. So that's how you add in milestones. Now we have added these uh, items. So really we should re-baseline this project because we've added some new um, items. Now once the project has started, you do not ever reset the baseline, but our project hasn't uh, started, so we've just added some new activities before um, 
it has started. So I want to rebaseline it. Okay, there we go. So again, that's taking a picture of what our plan schedule is. So now the other thing I wanted you to do this week is to add in status. So um, the best way um, to add status and to see what's going on is in our tracking Gantt chart view. So go to the tracking Gantt chart view and as you can see um, this is in the tracking Gantt chart and the gray is our baseline. So that's what we planned to do. We plan to start this activity on October 29th and we plan to have it complete on November 4th. So when we baseline it, it took this picture. So here's the tracking Gantt chart view. But what we want to do this time is we want to add some status. Um, because we all know when we're executing a project, nothing ever goes as planned. So we're going to update this project. So if you go to the project tab and we're going to put in status and what I want you to put in is status as of November 5th. So we need to go back to November and we're going to select November 5th. So we're statusing whoops, this project as of November 5th. Okay, and we're going to update it with what's happened. Um, as of November 5th, so update work is complete through November 5th, set 0 to 100% complete. Okay, and we're going to do it for the entire project, so select OK. So doing this, Microsoft Project assumes that everything has, is going as planned. So we plan to start um, the first activity on November 29th and plan to have it complete November 4th. So it's showing that we have done that work and it's 100% complete. So that's one thing, but of course, as we know, nothing ever goes as uh, complete. So let's pretend uh, we have some different information. So as you can see, this check mark indicates that the uh, task is complete. So let's leave it as that. Let's assume those things happen a little bit differently. Okay, so we can put in... Um, so it was planned to start no October 29th and it was planned to start or finish November 4th. So let's say we finished ahead of schedule. We, let's say we started ahead of schedule. So instead of starting on the 29th, we maybe started on the 25th. And instead of completing on the 4th, let's say we finished on the 1st. So that's one way can, we can do it. And at percent complete, let's say it's still 100% complete. So that's one way uh, we can do things, is adding in dates. So it's showing, right, that it's, oh, it's not showing 100% complete. Why is it not doing that? So let's, it's still 100% complete. There we go. Okay, so the gray again shows what we plan to do, and the blue shows what actually did happen. So that's one way we can do it. So let's click on Document Awards. So if you go to the task tab, you can see there's different ways we can status things. So let's say the document awards happened as planned. So we can just click on mark uh, on track. So it does that. It keeps it as that. Okay, so our bid review milestone, we can leave it as is. Uh, calculate costs. So a different way to status it. It's not planned to have started, but let's say it did start. So one way I can status it is I can go up here and I can select 0%, 25%, 50%. So let's say it has started and we're 50% complete. So it marks us at 50% complete. And again, let's say that it started ahead of schedule. So why don't we say it started on November 1st. And let's say it's still planned to finish November 18th. Okay. So for some reason, okay, so we still have it at 50% complete, um, but it moved this. So let's say that it's still um, planning on finishing at November 19th, okay? Okay, which is behind schedule. So that's one way we can do it. Um, 
So another way we can add status is, um, so this activity is 0% completed, that's what it's planned to. So under here we can put in the percent complete here. So let's say it's 5% complete, which means it had to have started. So let's say it started on November 4th. So those are different ways we can uh, status things. Another way we can do things, status things, is actually click and drag. So if you put your task or your cursor here, you see the percent button, and I can click and drag it, and it will add status that way. So those are different ways we can add status. We can put in dates. We can put mark on track. We can click on the 0, 25 percent, 50 percent. We can click on the tasks and enter the percent complete. We can click and drag. So those are different ways and as you can see it shows the picture on our tracking Gantt chart. So it shows what we plan to do and what we're actually doing and what percent we're complete. So that's what I want you to do um, this week for your deck project is I want you to put in status as of January 1st I want you to put things happening ahead of schedule, behind schedule, um, just play with, with the tool. But again, up baseline your project, uh, put in milestones, uh, re-baseline it, and uh, then put some status and play around with it. But try and make sure you're obeying um, your precedence rules. We didn't do that here. Um, as you can see, this was supposed to be done before this started. Um, and we didn't obey that. But I just wanted to show you different ways that you can status things. You can also see that this highlights um, by changing, uh, doing things differently than what we plan. We have some resource over allocation. So that's something that we should have looked at. But hopefully that shows you how to baseline your project, how to put in milestones, and how to update and status your project. So please do that for your deck project. And if you have any questions, please let me know.